Hi, I'm Bob with Wolf Ridge. Today, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the Wolf Ridge 17 VSC. This video will be a little bit out of sequence because we already ran enough to fill the trailer, but I'm going to give you guys a walk around to show you all of the features and benefits of the 17 VSC vertical splitter. So very similar to the 17 VS, the landing gear, the jacks, and the drawbar are the same. Right away you can see that this does have a conveyor on it, hence the C after 17 VS. As well as the conveyor, the 17 VSC also uses a bigger engine. So this machine has a Honda IGX 700 V-twin gas engine on it with EFI, an electronic governor, and here you can see the main control panel for it. In full disclosure, I got this thing out of the shop before they were completely ready, so I, don't, I didn't have uh, the decals here because we had to get it out back here for the Honda application test. Um, this morning but here you can see the control panel and i don't know if this is going to show up decently when i turn the key on um well the screen actually it looks like it's not flickering in the camera but this is a controls incorporated uh, engine controller and with that you get cylinder head temperature we have battery voltage here this uh, where the gas gas pump is this tells you how much gas you're using at a rate of gallons per hour and then here's our hour meter and then here's the tachometer so when we turn this to start it uh, here we'll have a reading of what the engine is running at. And then here are our throttle up and down. There's going to be a provision here for, uh, they call it a mitten button for a throttle. So if you've got gloves on, you can uh, push that. And somebody had mentioned about the labels. We will have nicer labels for these controls here. But if you look, it is etched into this panel here as well. So um, that's kind of a nice thing because this, this won't wipe off. That's, that's, that's laser etched. Here is the log lifter. This is the big one. That's what you're going to be using a lot of the time. So you can see that that kind of sticks out so you can grab it easy. And then you have the conveyor up and down and you have the conveyor on and off. Foot pedal control is the same on the VSC as it is on the VS. We can pull this pin here and we can pick this up and put it into storage position. Let's see if I can get under it, let it back down. Now we're in the stowed position to tow this thing down the road. And then when you wanna go use it, you just pull this, pull this back out, it drops down. And then this is a manual override. So if something was to get stuck on the foot pedal, you can reach down and pull up on this. Looking over at the conveyor, you can see it's a chain style with the, with the heavy duty paddles on it. One of the really cool things about this is that it has five positions. This right here, I would call the kingpin for the conveyor and this conveyor will slew into five different positions. I'll show you that in a minute here, but this is the latch for that functionality. Right now I'm gonna pull that pin and move the conveyor. So right now we're in the center position. I can push this in and then I can slide this. Now we clicked in to, I would say it would be like the fourth position. Then we go all the way back. That would be the fifth position. And then I'll bring it back again. I would call that the second position. And I would call that the first position. So you got a pretty, pretty wide, pretty wide adjustment angle here. Latch that back in. If you're going to be leaving the splitter set up in one area for a long amount of time, you can drop that drop leg for the outfeed conveyor. It's adjustable, it telescopes in and out. And uh, then you don't have to worry about the conveyor sagging over time. If it sits for, if it sits for a while, the hydraulic system will, will bleed down pressure and it will, um, it will lower by itself over time. Still on the front of this machine, we've got the pallet fork pockets. Now you can see that the tie downs have been added. So there's tie downs here if you put this on a trailer and you want to strap it. One of the cool things too is we have now an in-house made aluminum gas tank for this engine. Same heavy duty log lift that the 17 VS has. Got a few, uh, few nice oak rounds on there right now. And looking at the front side of the machine, you can see the same, the same landing gear, those, uh, those jacks and the same drawbar. See this has that Honda IGX 700 V-twin engine on it. Different pump setup than the 17VS because this is also running that outfeed conveyor. And 
the 17 VSC comes standard with a hydraulic oil cooler, thermostatically controlled, 12 volt fan will turn on by itself when it needs to. 25 gallon hydraulic tank, aluminum, welded, made in house. And here you can see the sight glass, hydraulic oil level and hydraulic oil temperature there. This uses a big cartridge style filter for the, for the hydraulic oil system. So the guys from Honda are here to do the application testing on this machine. And what that means is basically we need to get approval from Honda to use this engine on this application. That way, wherever this machine goes, if there was an issue with the engine that was a warranty concern, it could go to any Honda authorized service center and there would be no question about whether or not it's an approved application. What they do for this application test is they put temperature probes and vibration monitors on the engine. So they monitor oil temperature, cylinder head temperature, um, I believe exhaust temperature, and then the vibration sensors, as well as this machine has CAN bus on it, so they have their Dr. H Honda tool plugged into it, synchronized to the laptop, and they can watch exactly what this engine is doing as we're splitting wood with it. We have to run the machine for about 40 to 45 minutes straight, and that'll give them all the readings that they need to either approve or deny this application. I'll give you guys a close-up again of this uh, control system. So when you walk up to the machine, I would turn the key on, I would wait, you know, maybe three or four seconds. Um, it is EFI, so then we'll just crank it until it starts. And now once it's running, you can see battery voltage is going up because it's charging the battery. And we've got the engine RPM here. We want to be running this at 3600 when we're splitting.
So that's gonna wrap it up for the 17 VSC walk around. Have to give thanks to our customer, Bill Bailey, for letting us get this machine dirty, using it for this video and for the application testing. He is just starting a new YouTube channel called Smoking and Splitting. And if you wanna see a lot more of this machine and the rest of his operation, be sure to check that out and give it a subscribe. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. It's really been a blast making these videos again, and I have so many suggestions on uh, what kind of coverage and what things you guys wanna see. So I'm doing my best to get to those in a timely fashion. There is going to be, I think after this one, is going to be a 28 SHO splitter. And after that, it's going to be a surprise, I suppose. But I'm doing my best to keep up with you guys. And I really appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares, everything. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you're looking to add a piece of Wolf Ridge equipment to your firewood operation, please check out our website, www.wolfridgemfg.com, or give us a call, send us an email. I'll put those links in the description. Thanks again for watching.